Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone and Arena. And my name is Lumen, and right now, here we are <laughs> with the priest back in the arena. I don't even know what to say. Okay, we're currently zero and one, and the first game it was a bit of a flop. It was a bit of a flop. Played against a legend rank dude. Well, he had the card back. That doesn't mean he's legend rank, and he just he destroyed us. It was disgraceful. But looking back, I would say there were some clear mistakes made on my part. I made mistakes. For Sheezy. I'm going to try and not make too many mistakes this time around. So this guy's name is Hipna. Hedipna. I don't even know how to... Look, that, that's probably something else. It's probably not Hipna. I'll keep it. Injured Blade Master. If I get Circle of Healing somewhere along here, then I win. Insta win, right? Insta win. Thank you. <laughs> what drives you to pick the Wisp? Like what? How? The Wisp. He. Oh, it's hurting my brain. Uh, the one that buffs 1-1, one, one, uh, Shattered Sun Cleric. Quickly, play it now. Coin Cleric. Coin Cleric. Coin Grizzly. Coin Grizzly. That's a risky play. I didn't, I didn't want to do this. That was my ticket to victory right there that I just threw out to the board. But I want it like this because I want to in the next turn be able to heal it. Ah! Please don't get one more damage somewhere. Don't. Yes! Oh, God, oh, glorious. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is so tempting. But I can't. I have to... Oh, maybe... Put that there. There's one. Holy Nova is not coming out in the next turn. So this is going there. Ah, uh, so I can... Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just struggling a bit now. I don't want to put this out. I... I want this out. Okay, so we're gonna go with... Or rather the Raptor. I don't want to give him anything to Shadow Word Death, so there we go. This is why we play in Priest, because we can heal. Now, in the next turn, I could potentially pop the Argus out, but I will probably put it on this side, so the chance. Uh, the chance are in the next turn I won't do that. I just shouldn't. I should not. Don't want to give him any death targets. Oh, but now. Okay. That wisp ban is gonna be here till the end of time. Must consider. Okay. Uh, if I put that over there, no, then I've got nothing to spend that. So the, the best choice is actually just going dark cultist and healing. He's getting some serious wisp value here. I heal this because of Holy Nova. You know, else he could have done some serious damage. Now he can now he can actually put the wisp on the raptor. Ah, uh, get behind me. Oh my goodness, please tell me he's gonna do it. He is, okay. Clever, clever guy. Clever dude. Beautiful. Five. Heal there. Okay, here's how it's gonna happen. We're playing against a priest, you see. Hmm. 
Oh, but it could potentially go on the Defender of Argus. I was gonna pop this. The Dark Cultist to try and get the buff on the Blade Master, but it's unnecessary. I mean, that's the kind of shenanigans that loses games for you, so... I think we... We assume he doesn't have... I wonder. The Holy Nova. Okay, we're gonna assume he doesn't have the Holy Nova. My seal for Argus. Cause I mean, even a Holy Nova right now, it's not gonna do that much for him. So if he plays it fine, he kills the Blade Master. But the the only two cards now is Holy Nova and Shadowwood Death. But I've managed to put this on four attack, which again puts it in the priest dead zone. Oh, this is great. This is just ouch for him. I guess I don't even need to do it in that way. I can put this here. My fate is sealed. That over there. Heal this up. I don't care if he Holy Nova's that. This is a, a, a solid Holy Nova. <laughs> I'm playing around Holy Nova for like every single turn, but at least in this way, I set up the killing machine that is the Injured Blade Master. Dude, if you have a Holy Nova right now, you want to play it. So that was a bad turn for me. I actually played into a potential loss there. I think he might. He might have wanted to take the two two. Oh, he's silencing. No, you should have silenced this one. No, you should have silenced this one. Okay. Okay. My fate is sealed. Hey, give me that. Seeing that we plan on drawing anyway. We should do it first. Okay. My fate is sealed. Your turn to bleed. Into the brain. My fate is sealed. <laughs> Yeah, there's really no reason not to play all of this. It has to go and put it on there, but then again, like... Shadow of Death is not really a concern anymore. wonder how long he was holding onto that for. Okay, stacking it on the Yeti. I like it. His only chance is now if that is a... Or can I Soul Priest and Circle of Helion? That's the only chance he has. That went reasonably well. Definitely better than the previous game. I mean, maybe, maybe the deck isn't so bad after all, right? No, I actually feel, I still think it's pretty bad, but whatever. Okay. I should have given you guys my prediction too. I don't really have one. I'm thinking four wins. Just if I had to quickly offhand give it to you, I'd say four wins. Based on the performance thus far. Swag Lord! That's like the Hearthstone version of Star Lord. I like it. So I think we're gonna go with these. That's two, three, and four. Give me a one. Or just, you know, why don't you just give me a shadow word, death? Thank you. Oh, I could still get a one, right, okay. 
Kuhn 1, Elven Archer, new meta. Well played. Ah, okay, so... Well met. Thank you. I also like spamming well met with a paladin because it's just so great. It's a good feeling, you know? So we're gonna go with Mr. Enrage in the next one. Oh! Well, that changes things. Well met. Well met your face. There are too many different ways that you could potentially just kill it, so we're gonna go with the, the sure thing. This is not even a sure thing, because if he has just something silly like an abusive sergeant, it's done, but I still think that it's better risking that than losing the Northshire Cleric for no reason. Right, I, I'll stick with that. Uh, you know, you can't attack my face. He was trying to attack- you can't. You can't. Okay, where does this put us? Double Shadow Word Death so early on. Like, wait, okay, where does this put us? Uh, okay, this this puts us in a position to play the cleric. Is someone injured? Bring it on. Job done. The whole thinking ahead thing, that's, uh, that's kind of escaped me. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I get to draw another card now, and Holy Nova is gonna be really good on turn 5. Ooh, 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 wait, what's going on here? What's going on here? I still can't really do anything with this. But now, I do think I draw another card. I think I put that there. I draw another card. If I play this, he's gonna put the mad scientist into it. Three, he can put these two on here. I keep that, so let's... I don't wanna give him an opportunity to pop the secret out while he's got minions in play, so I pass. Okay. So imagine the Avenge now, if it's Avenge, and we do think it's Avenge, don't we? Right away. I gotta do it. Job's done. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I got a lot of cards. I don't actually think I can lose this game. Oops. I mean, I can lose any game. I've, I've got a, a serious knack for that kind of thing. But, ooh, 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 that's good to have. But now I just need to start putting some big stuff out, stuff that'll actually stick. So maybe, I need to watch out for. Okay, if it's repentance, then this is the best card to play right now. Okay, choices, choices, choices. I get to do one damage, two, three. That's it. I think we just play some stuff. Starting with this. Anti repentance, right? Anti repentance. Bam! I like it. I like it. Okay. Uh, then, I I want to say we could go with this because it'll just allow us to do a bit more damage, or at least do the damage quicker. But I think. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine. I think that drawing is also just not the best possible idea, so I don't know. Okay, 
We're gonna take a chance. And we don't we don't attack because I don't want to set him set him up for a, a consecrate. Because now he has to actually put that on there and that on there. Like he has to actually do some stuff before he just consecrates. Silver Moon shall not fall. Interesting. Interesting choice. I, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. I, I wouldn't have done it in the same way. And I I mean I know that's sort of, you know, inconsequential right now. Uh but still I would not have done it like that. Alright, uh, so there's there's actually probably a way to clear here, I just can't see it. This can kill that. This can kill this. But what can kill this? Oh, either of them can actually kill this too. Uh, because we can use the Alvin Archer. I want to get the Yeti out there though, because I need something beefy. So if we put the Yeti out, we're left with three mana, and that means that we can put the Direwolf Elf out and the Alvin Archer out. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go. Positioning is important. Hold on. Right, first Direwolf Alpha. This has to go here. Okay, then. The Yeti. I mean, I could go for the Venture Co. Mercenary, but I need the Elven Archer right now. So then the Yeti will go on th this side. Well played. Yeti will go here. Then it doesn't really matter which of these two I kill. Well met. Again, I don't want to set up for a Holy Nova, which I guess I've actually already done. Because if your Holy Nova is now, you can just put this here. Then you'll have cleared everything except the Northshire Cleric, which which you can actually clear with this. Not a Holy Nova, a Consecrate. Reporting for duty. So now. That's two attack, right? Three attack. So that puts it on five. This is Shadow of Death territory right here. I'm going to Shadow of Death that. Oh, goodness. I love this game. I just love this game. This is such a fun game. There's so much going on. That's a bit of a waste. Considering it actually still gets the attack from the Direwolf Alpha. Whoops. Okay. Here we are. Oh, nice. That's nice to have. Uh, let's have a look. Now. Now. First order of business is busting through here. Second order of business is just putting one damage on there. The one damage will come from the Northshire Cleric. So we need four from elsewhere, which will probably be from here. Yeah, so it's probably from... We heal this one. Although, maybe we heal the Yeti. No, this is what we do. I like it. Bring me steel. I like it. Now I healed that one specifically so that. He has to make a choice. That just ended up being really good, by the way. He has a much more difficult choice here. I I don't think I can lose this. Not even a Tyrion forward ring can save him at this point because I've got mind control ready. What would be really good for him right now is actually something like a True Silver Champion. But then again, hello, Ooze. Reporting for duty. How are we? Right away. Bring me steel. 
Ah, uh, you know what? Here we go. Why not? Oh, right, I should have put it on that side of the wolf. I was thinking that that wolf was silenced. <laughs> this, this should have been there. This can stay on this side. I, I don't know what I was doing, okay? I don't know what I was doing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But this is obviously how you throw a game. This little Northshire cleric is winning it for me. Oh man. Oh man. I am actually just gonna go face here. With almost everything. So one health doesn't matter. I... I should have played a little bit more carefully, but I mean, no, dude, you can't attack there. No. I mean, I don't think he's got equality consecration. That's the reason I just went crazy with it. Yeah, I'm fine. That's a mind control right there. Uh, it's not even necessary. I think this is lethal. It's four, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? My seal for Argus! Give that minion a turn to get ready. It's time. Right away. Exact lethal. That was a good game. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes, and I, I think I made them mostly because I played a little bit too fast, but that more than makes up for the first game that kind of sucked. Still haven't picked up the Dark Cultist. I mean, the, uh, uh, what's it called? Cult Master. They both, they both have cult in their name. That's the only card that I haven't seen yet, right? I've picked up every single other card. Except Thought Steel and Dancing Swords. There we go, those, those are the ones. Okay, anyway, I'm done. Check back here soon for more, give it a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff, most importantly though. Happy 2 and 1 in the arena. Happy pulling it back. Because that's what we're doing right now. We're pulling it back. Happy that. Mm -hmm.